Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. This final video of our five videos on diffusion focuses on permeability calculations. The previous four were found in my practical solubility apps. This one is in my practical coatings, along with all the other barrier calculations. Now, permeability is a general term, but here it's applied to WVTR, water vapor transmission rate, and OTR, oxygen transmission rate, typical of packaging applications. And the point that I raised in the first video, that diffusion itself is not very complicated, but the units are very complicated, is emphasized here. Professor K. Cooksey and colleagues at Clemson produced a wonderful paper which said that the whole of the literature is confused. And my own research has found total confusion in the literature about terms and about units, and often things are wrong. And the point of this app is that it enables you to get your own ideas clear and get your calculations correct. The first confusion is between TR, which is transmission rate, which is the amount which actually comes through a barrier, and P, the permeability, which is the scientific measure for a unit thickness of a material or a barrier. And if you don't know whether you're dealing with TR or P, life is very confusing. If you know the individual permeabilities of a material, and if you construct a real multi-layer barrier, you want to be able to know what the transmission rate is, because that's what will affect your customer. The app allows you to have a set of layers, each with their own thickness, each with their own permeability, which will lead to a transmission rate, or a transmission rate, which will lead to a permeability. And then it sums them to get what the real permeability or the real transmission rate would be for that particular barrier. So if I take out this layer here, then the transmission rate changes quite dramatically. This will typically be the EVOH layer in a multi-layer package. So that allows you to do quite complicated calculations on multi-layer barriers. But I want to emphasize one more thing. The problem that everyone faces is units. Permeability is mass times length over area times time times pressure. Though actually the real unit is one over time. So all permeabilities could be expresses per second, but that sounds very odd to us. The trouble is that everyone chooses different values of mass, length, area, time, and pressure. And there are thousands of potential units. This app can convert between 2,688 different units. So if you happen to want to be in grams, centimeters, centimeters squared, megapascals, and your American colleague wanted to be in grams, millimeters, 100 square inch, hours, and atmosphere, then you would have to convert your units to theirs by a factor of 2.35 times 10 to the sixth. This is a nightmare. As it happened shortly after I wrote this app, I had a major project on water vapor transmission rate, and I had to use my own app extensively. And my client was most impressed that I could navigate between these bizarre units so easily. So an app is really good when the author himself uses it. There's some other confusions about WVTR, uh, which are described below, but I won't discuss them in this short video.